Disclaimer. The following video is part of a playthrough that contains these heavy topics. Viewing it is at your own risk. And with this, your discretion is advised. Considering the situation, medical tests will be absolutely necessary. Then we're going to have a counseling session in regard to your indecent relationship with classmates. After the trial, of course. Besides, I'm already a proper grown-up. So I should be able to handle my problems myself. Right, you've grown out of toys. But honestly, that may... Naive fit of yours is unbelievable. It's only the atmosphere in the room changes. Well, man, didn't we agree that you wouldn't touch house tenants? Don't worry about this single thing, Miss Fulshire. We'll soon see that this world is not worth staying in. We dreams, princess. The next day, so. One is here. Okay. Nothing happens. Seems like the warp cube is broken to have way around. Okay. Hmm. Out of security reasons. So. This. Your service, don't come again. Let's try using the warp cube again, Seth. Yeah, so maybe it's changed his mind. Um, this is getting weird. Okay. You should organize into groups of three. Too far away. I already found someone to work with. We have enough people, sorry. Yeah, sorry, I need to socialize first. Okay, we're full. Good enough, well, yes. Psst, are we really worthy of being in Wolf Shire's group? I told you. Then it's decided. So beautiful. Hmm. Mr. Shaw, will you be working alone? Yes, we yeah, all work with Phil Shaw. That wonderful. Don't you are this good? Hehe, <laughs> let's work together, Charlie. Right? Well then, let's start our lesson. He's so hungry. I, I could have guessed. Buy us something, okay? I'll be uh, like usual. I saw you milk on holy Oh, I didn't. Give a lunch to myself. Ah, it's not a good thing. So. Out of security reason, because I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Just on the bread I bought her. You know, Charlie, there are rumors about you and Vincent going around in the school. Who the fish is Vincent? What kind of relation do you have? Relations are not way too heavy, Henry. Not sure. Talk to me after what happened. After what happened? Can be. It's just as I thought. It's after your body. What? 
What did you do to do exactly? Nothing much aside from the ascending to the heavens thing. Oh my god, what? Bastard. He didn't do anything bad. I mean, there's no reason to. Shut up! Might be a little dense in the head, but let me tell you. Why do we have a box cutter here? I who act all mysterious only want to, to use you. Um, technically. Also, you are also not really yourself. You may hide it for however long way you want, but I know you're quite well endowed. Excuse me, what do you mean by that? Eh? Was new deck. See, cut. Go on with my mouth with my hands. Stop it. I need to break three of my group of ease. <laughs> you look like a tomato. By the way, why don't we go feed the strays today? How do you know? The make has to be fed. Yes, what about them? I've. They. Put all up in my throat. They're dead. Oh. And it's all my fault. Me who bought them bad food and... And... What are you talking about? Josefo didn't do anything to stop us. Tomorrow, they ate it themselves. I could have done something. Seth would listen if I simply told him. That I... That they... And began shaking again. Feel the... Bulgous ink rinse in my throat. Rise in my throat. And he puts her hand on mine. Listen, repeat after me. It's not my fault. I hesitated. She goes my hands harder. A pretty nail sticking into my skin. Do it. Not my fault. Fault. Not my fault. Fault. See, it's not that hard. I liked her at the beginning, but now I hate her. Right. Hmm. I still look down. Is there something else that worries you? Well, the trial is soon. I'm worried that the choice I'll make will be the wrong one. Why so? The vote for Henry, right? And you won't get angry at you for that, silly. That's what friends do, after all. Or am I wrong? Uh, they're like, yeah, but uh, at the same time, I, well, I probably withdraw my from voting. Eh? You don't consider Henry your friend anymore? I do. It's just, I don't think the voting system is fair. Is that so? Whatever you want, then. Henry doesn't care. Two bell rings. Go back to class, Henry. And I'll join you later. Okay, until then. Later then. Bye bye. Back I wondered if Henry was always this forceful. Little feeling happy after our lunch together, like usual, I felt incredibly humiliated. There's something I want to tell you. Come to the roof of his glasses. What happened? Quickly. This is getting weirder and weirder. Oh, no, no, no. Should I? Have you seen a boy around here? Hold her down. No longer playing God by waving that spray around her. So, who do you think you are? Some princess royalty or punzo maybe? Yeah, too long by school norms. Hey, why don't we help our dear schoolmate out? Wait, what is this about? Just brings out scissors. The two hold me down, making me unable to move. Snip, snap. A lock of hair falls on. Keep quiet about it, okay? We might accidentally cut more than your hair. Please, don't cut it. Look, she thinks we'll listen to it if she asks. 
be such a pity if our little princess got bald all of a sudden, right? With scissors, you, you can't go bald with scissors unless you cut off her head. Sip, 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 sip. You new locks. Where I felt only felt my thing good and humiliating. You're being punished for. I guess it feels so humiliating. Was there one that always like this? My figure appears before me. Shouldn't you call for help, Mr. Wolfshire? I don't want to trouble anyone. Who was the one to teach you that? Was it your mother? You a good girl? You're always me, wins in the end. You'll be kind, others will be kind to you. Violence is bad. All your life, you're being manipulated by others. All because you care too much about opinions. Because you want to be loved by everyone. And when things don't go your way, you'll find excuses. Don't you have any pride? There are things worse than getting beaten up. Going through such humiliation when all you have to do is take my hand and everything that's unfair will be will perish. It doesn't matter if it's just me who will get hurt, Trey. No. You both know that's a cheap lie. In fact, you want somebody to save you. Very much so, but they are not to task of it. Because you deem yourself unworthy. No response, huh? Besides. So where are your so-called friends when you need them the most? Friends can't always be there for me. Is yes, that so? Just so you know, even if your friends abandon you, and if your mother abandons you, and if the whole world abandons you, I'll always be by your side. Please keep that in mind. Gotten silent. Oh, our princess seems to have in her hands. Hey, is she even alive? Beats me. Ugh. Someone's coming. What if it's teacher? Run, quick. Leave me lying here among the remnants of my once long hair. There's a taste of thing in my mouth. I feel ill. Footsteps. More footsteps. The ones who hover above me are all familiar faces. The very next moment my head hits the concrete. Before everything goes back, I hear voices. Man, how disgusting. Hey, stop it. You might be still conscious. Who cares? Just get her out of here. So, oh, Miss Wolfshire, how does it feel now that the fog has lifted? It's always like this, Umbrella Man. Jesus Christ! What was, my dear? Everything. The school, my classmates. I want to answer their questions. You can answer yourself. You're a cruel person. It's just that I'm not cut out to be a babysitter, my dear. But honestly, you should reevaluate your relationship choices. Have you ever considered that your wonderful lady friend is not as good as you imagined her to be? I know he's not a bad person. <coughs> I can't even do the wa to the water step uh, no. And she would never ever manipulate people for her own selfish reasons. Nor would she write insults on the class blackboard, right? <laughs> but oh well, you'll never listen if it's not Isla pushing you to the wall. Oops, wrong timeline. Forget I've said that. Stay on problem, man. Where do people go after they die? On doses his eyes. As if contemplating something. They become, they become star gazers. Losing their officials, they become able to go anywhere in the West universe. So they just wander around. One can say so. They become the kind of existence that can be in any place imaginable. At the blink of an eye. And it's been millions of years in less than a moment. Can linger with a living being and experience their life. Hearing their thoughts, feeling their, what they feel. 
Becoming a stargaze is a part. The cycle, cycle of life. A purg purgatory period before one can achieve peace. It sounds nice. Perhaps. Arrow, didn't you say yourself that you didn't want to make haste to see the other side? You know my employer is very fond of you, so coincidentally it's in my best interest to see you alive and kicking. Oh, on another note, this woman whose body I'm currently powering has her shift ending soon. Don't want any questions from her. I believe you should go home, my dear. Right, I should. And if you wish to cut your hair before anyone sees you, I suggest taking scissors with you. Look if there's any in the cabinet. Let's go to the bathroom, Zef. I can't let anyone see me like this. Lift up the scissors. My hands are shaking. The scissors are sharp. Just one castless snip and it all will be over. Rose will bloom from my skin and I will no longer. Someone takes my wrist. Satan. Good evening, dear girl. When have you been doing your haircuts all by yourself? Takes the scissors away from me in one quick movement. Allow me to help. Do you have any image of what you want your new haircut to be like? I don't know. That's alright, I'll do something about it. Oh, this sound all too well. Somehow right now it's comforting. And then, I look into the mirror. A stranger is reflected in it. The corpse I've burned in the incinerator. Beautiful, Aiden. Thank you. Glad I could be of help. I'll be taking the scissors, okay? Okay. Jim pats my head before leaving. If you ever need to talk about your troubles, I'm almost here for you. Alright? Alright. Then my <coughs> Next moment, Aiden. Hey, Seth. How about we visit Dr. Huxley, too? Is it is attaching them to the body with Dr. Perfect. Good evening, Dr. Huxley. Hello, little one. Is there anything you'd like to ask? Yes, there's something that's been troubling me for a while. Oh, a chronic illness? Deadly disease, I presume? Yes, something like that. I've been vomiting a lot of ink since the Oracle awakened. I do not know where they come from, and it doesn't look like normal ink. If it was, your intestines would be full of ulcers by now, or worse. Let's have a look. So did you find anything, Dr. Huxley? My surprise, I haven't. I believe this illness is a is of psychosomatic character, which means that the problem lies in your mind. I'm afraid I can't be of help in this case. After all, I'm a surgeon. If it's not something I can cut out, well, you know, I understand. Thank you, Dr. Huxley. I'm happy to be of help. Okay, let's go. Oh. Um. Um, Aww. 
Aram dating sim gone wrong, reads the text. You play as a student who gets admitted to an elite school. I want both guys persons throwing themselves at you, regardless of you. Can you reject them all? Can you avoid all true and good endings? Play to find out. Started collecting black metal on their own. Let's try to catch at least a glimpse of sleep. I jumped on bed, meow, I know it. Don't worry. Excuse me, what the fish? What the fish is that? I hear the sounds of pages slipping. Oh, you're awake, Miss Wolfshire. Where am I? Your mind, of course. Where else can you be? But can't you see? It's our good old mind library. Lying in shambles. You're too close, Ray. Ray chuckles softly, but doesn't move away. Except me into your mind. How much closer could we get? I love it a bit too bitterly. Also, this music is fishing terrifying. Sounds also like um, recorded things. Right. Yes? Read me something. Does an old memory journal do? Anything will. Very well. Choose one. Memory of a yellow ribbon or memory of a graveyard. The memory of a brown man. It's quite short, so I might as well read you another one. Yeah, I got a yellow ribbon. It was on my eighth birthday. The man stood in the darkest corner of the room, blending with the shadows. He stepped out of it only when everybody else left. He extended his gloved hand to me, and it was a present. A yellow ribbon. Oh, For your birthday present, I bought you this ribbon. We are born colorless, he said, tying it around my color. It's the people we meet who give us color. Where is the memento of our alliance, will you? Marianne, promise there is another one you've already seen the break mark. First dress. Back in the day, I had a slightly short haircut, just in the way that one called Gully. When Aiden awoke after Dr. Hux, excuse me, he was campus no more. He took up a number of new hobbies. Cooking, cleaning, drawing, sewing among them. He took particularly interested in making dresses and invited me to try one. It's wonderful. I complimented him one wholeheartedly. I don't think I'm cut out for dresses, Aiden. Why so? He asked, generally curious. What I see before me is a fair young lady. You should let your hair grow, he added smile. You'll make a wonderful lady when you grow up. Say, hey, what kind of dreams did you have before I appeared? I dreamed of a mother. Not always, sometimes. It's just the dream said, I remember more vividly. Hmm, what were they like? One of these dreams we were walking together on the street that night. Stop also the, the decor. It was raining. Then she fell to the ground and I dragged her away from the sidewalk. I took off my coat and covered her. I knew I had to do something but couldn't do a thing without her permission. So I kept asking, should I call for help? Should I call a taxi? Should I call an ambulance? But she kept answering with, I don't know. Over and over again. So we just sat there, unmoving. People pay, passed by us. I cr cradled her in my arms. Felt like her body parts were missing under the coat. But I couldn't bring myself to check. That's the kind of dream it was. Not moving a muscle to do anything just because you are told not to do. What a dependent way to live your life. I know, but strangely enough, I was content with it. 
was supposed to be the way. To think of it, I've always wanted someone to make decisions for me. How pitiful, yet fascinating. Although I'd love to continue the conversation, I'll leave you to rest now. After all, the trial is coming. Yes. Good night, Frey. Frey chuckles. Keep well, Miss Wolfshire. God, thingy that does stuff. <laughs> How did we went from... Okay, this is some deep stuff too. I'm scared. Please let me leave. Hi, Felix. Hello, Charlotte. Hi, Bennett. Hello, Charlotte. Hi, Aiden. Hello, Charlotte. I'm... I'm... I... 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 Goodbye, Felix. Goodbye, Hayden. Goodbye, Ben. Say goodbye, my cat. Goodbye, everyone. I miss you all. The fish was accepted. Working. Dear students and teachers, you are welcome to the annual school trial. Please bring out your mobile phones. We shall begin voting now. And Henry peeks over my shoulder, waiting for me to make a decision. What should I do, Seth? See not to vote for him. But I want to save him. You promised Ari to vote for her. Best friends after all. What should I do? Okay, so basically now we have the literal endings. This is a real flaw for Morin. Henry looks at me. So you really didn't choose anyone in the end. So true, Henry. I choose everyone. I don't want someone to suffer because of my choice. Sometimes not making a decision is the best decision. Huh? What a dumb choice, Henry. Really. Nothing less to expect of the school's infamous oddball. Henry, are you? Attention, please. Everyone, finish voting now. Now count the votes. Please wait for a moment. Three, two, one. And a one with zero votes. The garbage of society this year is. Oh, in fact, we have two people this year. Vincent Wordsworth and Charlotte Wolfshire. Hey, rejoice, you both. The girls will escort you to the smile room. On around is clapping and yelling. It was like it was mass medicine. Good riddance. Finally, you deserve each other. Look at Army. Says you're right. I'll see, just go die already. For the sake of everyone. Henry, what? Please don't cry. Henry turns away from me. Angry rubbing her eyes with her long sleeves. I'll be okay. Don't take care of yourself, okay? But still hear herself as I'm being led to the room. What the fish? Hope will take no longer than a few minutes. Stay still. And he looks at me from his operation table. The horror in his eyes. He's shaking. Charlotte? Yes? There's something I want to tell you. I'm sorry. Not who you think I am. I lied to you all this time. Puppeteers and observers. What other worlds? Just like everyone said. I'm a false god. 
a loser, a weakling, a coward. I don't know anything about this world, nor what lies beyond. My name is not C, it's Vincent. Oh, really? And did I didn't know that. I, I know who you are, Vincent. You are no loser, loser God. I think you're wonderful. <laughs> I want to reach out to him, but there's no strength in my body. My eyelids become incredibly heavy. I'm scared. My library is destroyed. Ray is here. And the core too. Ray, I want to put an end to all trials. I want to save C from the world. I want to save Henri from herself. I knew you would say that. You'll still want to become a tragic hero for everyone's sake, right? A boy who put himself above all the living things. A girl who loathed herself so much she raised her self-confidence at your cost. All your imaginary friends. Your father who abandoned you long ago. Your mother who never comes to visit. You loved them all, didn't you? Even though I was always there for you. You chose all of them over me in the end. You said it yourself, huh, Frey? You are a product of my own mind, born from the remnants of the Oracle. You are a manifestation of all my destructive impulses. Essentially, you are me. I couldn't love myself, right? I couldn't love us. So pitiful, aren't we? Now then, come here. Let us repaint the world in your colors. Consume me whole. Take a step forward. Listen to me. I wake up, it's quiet. This is going on the operation table. Quiet in the hall. Um, um, um. Why is it so quiet? 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 throughout the room with an orchestra? Voices. The one saying them isn't just me. It's the whole school. The one who stands out among the crowd. It's a man dressed in pitch black clothes. He's laughing. Well, well, what do we have here? Say, what wish did you make on the shooting star? An ear deafening orchestra of voices follows. I wish for all the painful things to end. I wish for everyone's happiness. A meep? Just that. I see. What a foolish wish. However, it did come true. Nevertheless, as long as human ego exists, people will always hurt each other. The only way to bring it to an end is to achieve ultimate control over each and every person. And voila, there you have it. You selfishly ate each and every ego in the world. Now you're the only one left. Congratulations, my dear. You have become the oracle of this world. No way, everyone is gone. Vincent, Henry too? Yes, their bodies are now vessels for you. Not only did you consume their soul data, but also the spare copies of it. Unfortunately, they are now gone from this world. Say, Umbrella Man, can I ask you for one last favor? Yes, what is it? Can you kill me? Yes, what the fish? I can't even say you're good because, well, 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 all I do is keep hurting others. If I disappear, the world will surely be a happier place. Someone like you who disregards life itself wouldn't hesitate to do it. So please, somehow. All right. I close my eyes. For the rest this way. No one will get hurt because of me anymore. Instead of sharp pain, I suddenly feel warm. Why? You've done well, dear child. 
All this time you didn't want to be alone, did you? I listen well. I will grant your wish. Usually it comes with a price, but my employer will have already paid in full by now. We will travel across the skies and you will learn to control your power. Once you do, it is possible that you can rebuild your wall from scratch. Let's go scar gazing, shall we? Oh man, he just out his hand to me. He looks just like my father from the old wedding photo. Is it really okay for someone like me? Didn't I say it before? It's not about reserving. It's what was destined to happen. When a man covers me with his coat. So how about it? I take a brown man's hand. A leaf on the journey. I will travel across the seas and skies. Wander among roots and ruins of civilizations. Watch lives bloom and wither. And be reborn again. Perhaps then I'll learn how to be kind. Perhaps then I'll learn how to be honest. Perhaps then I'll learn how to not hurt others. I want to become a better person, Seth. Thank you for everything you've done for me. You've been a great friend. Thank you for seeing my story through the end. Let's meet again one day. Why then? In the end of the game. So it appears we have reached the end of the story. No matter what, Charles Bouchard was doomed from the start, understandable. You see, my friend, you've committed a sin, right? Of worshipping false gods, that is. Could we talk about this a tiny bit here? Because, um, 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 um I don't mention it. The people call me the god of worlds. And my my heart is the god's heart. So, yeah, we have the tiny problem there. Luckily, I I don't I don't know really, but I hope there's no cult that worships me or a church. Just saying. Hey, are you satisfied with such an ending? Or do you want to see the child's story end in another way? You know, I have the power to grant your wish. You may call me. Percentile, but by this time, you should have learned that nothing in this world comes without a price. And the price would be your name. Say, will you give up on your identity for a mere possibility? Will you give up on your existence? When I eat your name, you will no longer be the wise, kind-hearted Seth. Because the child won't remember you. He always perceived you as her friend. When in fact you're just malware that infected our world. Oh wait, what? I did my best to introduce, introduce you as something trivial. When in fact you were not meant to be here. You see, there are no other puppeteers in this world. Every single word you've ever uttered was given to you by the child. You're just her imaginary friend. However, if you accept my help, she will no longer be aware of your presence and no longer talk to you. For that price, you'll be able to save her. So, what do you think? Oh, well, well, well. Well, isn't that wonderful? Come stand up, my umbrella. Under my umbrella. Figuratively, Livy, of course. Goodbye, Seth, the goody two shoes. Hello. And now, miss. I'll see you soon. So. I mean, that's all, also the uh, episode phrase, all that. That is. 
Yeah. 